today, some of the animals that were living in my black tar ponds were attacked. You guys are not gonna believe, almost like the black tar sludge that we're gonna get off the bottom. They're locked up, Hannah. I think. Are it's, they? I think it's locked up to the other female. This is the turtle in question, and here he is. So this is the smaller turtle, and let me show you guys what's wrong with him. So what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today some of the animals that were living in my black tar ponds were attacked. Yes, you heard that right. So today I'm going to be going through the black tar ponds. We're going to be getting those injured animals out. We're going to be treating their wounds, taking a look at them and seeing the extent of the damage. Damage. This is not something I was anticipating, um, but that's the part of having animals, owning animals, so that's what we got to do. But before we can hop into that, I just want to remind you guys that we have the new merch on the website. We showed it in the last video, so if you guys have not seen our new merch collection, well guys, go to jacobfetter.com at the end of this video. Get merch for your mom, dad, grandma, your baby. Literally, we got merch options for everyone. So check out those merch options. And now, before we hop into today's video on the attacked animals, well, we've got to head over to the rest of the ponds, go through them, and make sure everyone's okay. So right as I'm walking over to go to the back ponds, I see Hannah. Hannah, you just got here? Yep, I just arrived. What do you got? We got a whole lot of hay in the we back. We got a whole lot of hay in the back. So Hannah just picked up some donated hay. Shout out, who gave it to us? Vineland? Yes, Vineland, I think Shout elementary? out to, to Vineland okay. Elementary School here in Miami. They had a bunch of extra hay and they thought of us. So what the heck are we gonna do with this hay? Well, we're gonna use this hay for the winter time. We use the hay inside of the tortoise houses. So you can see the new Galapagos tortoise house that we got started right over there. Well, this hay is definitely gonna come in handy for that. Now let's open up. There's some pumpkins in here, right? Yes. Okay, oh. we got some hay. Definitely saving us money. Each one of these bales of hay is probably like 15, 20 bucks. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the goods. Yeah, we got some enrichment pumpkins in here, which is gonna be really great to pass out to all the animals. So Hannah, you unload this. You do a good job. Uh, you're not You're not unloading this? I'm gonna need a little help. So I'm gonna give Hannah a hand unloading the hay, unloading the pumpkins, and then we're gonna go check out the ponds. One hour later. Well, now it's time to head over to my back ponds. Hannah's there. She's already checking out the turtles. We just wanna check up on our tortoises, but we do have another pond right over here. We got Noah the Black Jaguar hanging out with us. We got Cheech and Chong the Servals, Ollie the Clouded Leopard. We got the whole gang back here. Now, Hannah, you saw the attack turtle. Nobody knows what it looks like. What did, what did you think of it? Honestly, it was it was probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. I know. I was, it was bad. absolutely terrible. But what I do want to show everyone is this pond over here. So this has got to be my favorite pond. Now we do have to add some more dirt in here. We got to water our plants, but in here we have all of our albino turtles. This is where we have snake neck turtles. We've got a whole bunch of turtles in here. So you can see the albinos just hanging out right over here. And what I want to do is I want to reach in and I want to try to grab one. Now these guys are actually pretty friendly. So if we just reach in just like this, we able to grab this little guy right here. And now this is our albino pink belly side neck turtles. Now these guys don't really like to be held, but these are the parents to the little babies that you saw over there. So this albino might be their mom, it might be their dad, and what they would have bred to would be one of these little guys right here, which is our regular pink belly side neck turtles, which are absolutely beautiful. Here you go, Hannah, there's a gift thank for the you. new house. It's for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now the turtles that were attacked were not in this pond. We did have an incident where I think a raccoon was in here at night trying to get one of our turtles. We've been setting traps, but I'm trying to find one of our pink bellies that actually has some minor little holes punctured into it that I think is actually from a raccoon. So we wanna get down and dirty in here to try and find this turtle so I can show all of you guys what I'm talking about but I'm not remembering which one it was. I think it was one that was a little bit smaller. We got a whole bunch of turtles in here. Nope, definitely not this one. And I think right here I've got it. This is the smallest turtle in here and then this is the one that I believe was attacked. So one morning I was out here and we noticed that there was these little puncture marks. Now, these are not very deep. This is just kind of on the surface of the scoot. So we had this guy dry docked for about a day. Every single day we've been doing betadine treatments on this guy. We've actually already done that for today, but I just wanted to show you guys his wounds. Now it's actually healing very well. There's no signs of infection. And when you're looking for infection, you're gonna look at this and you're gonna look for it to be red and inflamed and swollen. And that has not 
none of it. It just looks like white, clean tissue that's gonna heal perfectly. All right, little buddy, we're gonna let you back into your pond, so I'm just gonna let him go right down into the pond with the rest of his friends. So now that we got to check out the rest of the ponds and made sure the rest of our turtles are happy and healthy and safe, it is now time to hop into today's video on the attacked and injured turtles. Now, these turtles are actually not mine. I got a call from a buddy of mine late last night, literally one in the morning, if I could take in these turtles that were attacked. These two turtles were housed together. They attacked each other. We brought them in, we treated them, and you guys are not gonna wanna miss this. So now that we got to check out all of the ponds and made sure the turtles were happy, healthy, and safe, well guys, now the moment you have been waiting for, it's time to hop into today's video on the attacked turtles. All right, everyone, we're outside. We've got all of our supplies to check on our attack turtles. So like I was telling you guys last night, late night, about one in the morning, I got a phone call from a buddy of mine said, I need you to come rescue turtles, come and get them. So of course, I knew what I had to do, but at that hour of the night, we did minimal treatment, but I wanted to get them inside of the warm, heated pond. So. Basically what was going on is these, these two turtles were housed together in an enclosure where they could not get away from each other. The one turtle was attacking the other one and actually injured it. So right inside of this pond here is the turtle that was attacking the other one. So this guy's not injured at all. This guy's actually doing really well, but I just want to feel around for him. We put him in here last night. Water is nice and toasty warm and I'm feeling for him. Oh, right here. We got him. We got him. We got him right here. Look at that. So these are Indian spotted turtles. Now you guys do know we have a lot of these, but we don't have any this size. So this is one of the ones that was surrendered to us last night, given to us, and this guy is absolutely beautiful. Actually, I may have even produced this turtle several years ago. So the only thing that he has is he's got these little wounds right here. He's got kind of where he was rubbing on something, but this is actually already kind of healed over flesh. So it's kind of tender and sensitive. So. We don't really wanna bother it, and since it's not infected and it's not opened up, we're just gonna leave it as is because it seems to be healing well and doing well. So for the time being, we're gonna put this guy inside of this bin right here, and I wanna show you the turtle that is the one in question, the attacked one. We actually put him in a bigger pond where he had space to feel safe and feel free. So this is where he is. He's inside of this big, giant, massive pond. Now we do wanna reach our hands in and start feeling around. Now this is a lot bigger. This is hundreds of gallons more. And on the bottom, there's this layer of silt. Now the water is actually clear. If you see my hands in the water, it's actually stained brown from the tannins that are in the water, from the leaves and the debris. That's why it appears this color. But when you reach down into the bottom, you guys are not gonna believe almost like the black tar sludge that we're gonna get off the bottom. This is a layer of sediment that's broken down leaf debris, but this stuff right here, doesn't smell the best, but this is all live natural bacteria, which is kind of creating this little ecosystem inside of the pond with the fish and the mosquitoes. It keeps the water nice and clean. The turtle's happy. But what? Oh, look, this guy's trying to get out. He was just trying to hop out. But what we want to do right now is we want to reach in. We've got to find this guy right now. Wait, I got him right here. Now, this one is a lot smaller. This is the turtle in question, and here he is. So this is the smaller turtle. And let me show you guys what's wrong with him. So his, his turtle brother actually bit his neck right there and all of his toenails are completely missing they were literally bit off now if you look at this side you can see this is what a normal foot pad is going to look like for a turtle but then if you look at this guy on this side this is where the injuries were it really is sad and unfortunate that this stuff does happen but when you do have these animals they can be friendly and cool with each other and from one moment to the next they can turn and their wild instincts will take over. So these guys are going to live separated now. This does not appear to be a life-threatening injury. You can see it's already starting the healing process where there's almost like this scab that's healing over on it. But also on the lower part over here, but this turtle is smaller so again when you house bigger turtles with smaller turtles, Nine times out of 10, the bigger turtle is gonna bully the smaller one, so I'm so glad we were able to rescue these guys and give them the help they deserve. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys the two of them together and what was going on. So these turtles were not attacked here. I actually took these in as rescues, so we're gonna do everything we can to rehab them and rescue them and get them back to health. So we're gonna put our bigger Indian spotted inside of this pond right here. We're gonna let them back go. Now we are gonna be actually moving them and giving them to a buddy of mine that just set up a much bigger pond for both of them, where they both are gonna be able to live together, happy and healthy in a large enough space where if one of them is bullying the other, they can escape. It's nice and deep. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to give this guy some TLC each and every day to make sure he makes it. All right, everyone, we are now getting ready to treat the wounds and injuries on our smaller Indian spotted. I'm so glad we were able to rescue this guy. But 
it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some work to get him nursed back to health. So these are not life-threatening injuries, and like I was telling you guys, these are just kind of healing over. It's not red and infective. There's some slight redness, but it's nothing to be concerned about. I've seen many injuries on turtles, and luckily for turtles, they're basically indestructible. These guys can get hit by cars, have their shells totally fragmented, and actually heal and be perfectly fine with the right care. So we're gonna do everything we can to heal this guy. He's already ripped my glove, he's already peeing. So what we're gonna be using today, let's put this guy down. I was trying to explain to you guys what we're using today. We're gonna be using betadine. So we have diluted betadine, we've got some concentrated betadine, and that's pretty much all we're gonna use. We're gonna keep it simple and effective, and that's what this betadine does. It's gonna keep the bacteria level low, it's gonna keep the wounds from being infected. Now, typically we will also use vetricin, but today we're just gonna use the betadine since we're putting them into the water. So once we put them in the water, any medication we put on them is going to actually come off, but we're adding salt to the water, and that salt is also gonna kinda inhibit the bacteria growing. So let's stop talking about it and let's get started with this guy. So we're gonna hold him up right up here, and basically what I wanna do is I wanna take some of the diluted betadine right here, and we're just gonna get all the crevices where his neck is. So the reason we wanna use this betadine is because this betadine is gonna kill any bacteria and infection that's growing. So you can see right over here on this little corner, there's some wounds, and we just wanna spray that. And the key with the betadine is to spray it and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then once it's dry, this guy will be ready to go. So not only are we using the diluted stuff, but we also have some of the concentrated stuff in the syringe. So we're gonna come right over here, this guy is definitely a little feisty, so we're gonna come right over here to his neck, and you can see it's much darker in color. And that's how you know it's safe and effective, and it's working by its color. So we're gonna come over here to this guy just like that on his neck. So you can see he kind of slowed down. It probably almost feels soothing to him to get the betadine on his neck. He also has a little wound on the top of his head, so we're just gonna put one drop there and just rub it in. Now the key is, you don't wanna get any of this stuff in his eyes or his mouth. So. This guy's looking good. We got betadine on all of his wounds. There's no wounds on his back leg, so we're just gonna let this guy sit here for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then once he's dry, we gotta put him back into the pond. So it's now been about 20 minutes since we treated our turtle. The betadine is dry. This guy is active. He's looking good, so let's go release him. So as you can see, our turtle is dried off. The medication is doing its thing. So now that we treated our turtle, he is kicking. He does not wanna be held. He definitely wants to go back in his pond, so buddy, we're here to help, so we're gonna let this guy go right now. We're just gonna kind of bring him, and you're gonna watch him disappear back into the water, and there he goes. And that is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video here at my farm on the injured and attacked turtles. Now, although these turtles were not attacked here, we will always take in injured wildlife that may need help and rehab, and we're always, we're the ones to do it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, what should we name these two turtles? And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, and you wanna know how this turtle does, you want to know if he makes it or not well guys what are you waiting for guys all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below